YouTube channel. My name is Mamus Koka. And for those of you joining for the first time, remember to click subscribe on this channel so you can get more videos from me, hopefully. <laughs> but um, for those of you who are here when I post videos and you watch them, you comment, you like, and you share amongst your friends, thank you for doing that. I have not really been very active with this thing. Guys, can I just tell you what my problem is? My problem with YouTube is consistency. Like, that's my biggest problem. Um, putting videos together and, you know, having them, it's not easy. And I'm not trying to act like, whatever. There's no excuse, but yeah, I'm not consistent. Let me just be honest. I'm not very consistent with this thing. And I want to be this year. I really, really do. Every time I tell myself I'm going to, something always happens that actually pulls me back away from creating content and I'm not big on my channel actually guys let me tell you guys something the reason I started YouTube was not for makeup for clothing for any of that sort I actually just started YouTube because I love talking about relationship you know I just love talking about life things life issues um, things that affect us on a day-to-day -day basis and then translate it into just having fun with YouTube sometimes I just throw in a little hair content or just different type of content to try and keep up with the trend of what YouTube is really about but personally what I like watching YouTube sometimes is it's therapeutic for me because then I learn things and I understand how maybe somebody was going through something that I was going through at that time and how they got over it or how they dealt with it and it helps so that's why I do my YouTube channel but anyway so today I wanted to talk about adulting so you know because 2021 for me is actually very challenging so far for me and that's why I kind of like um what I've been doing with myself for the past couple of weeks is understanding my thoughts and understanding my feelings and understanding what stage I'm at in my life. And it just got me thinking of how when you're younger, like I look at my niece and I look at my kids and it's amazing. They can't wait to grow up. You know, they can't wait to be an adult to do things. And I wish I knew what I know now. Um, I would have stayed being uh, 10 years old or five years old. Because honestly, when I was younger and when I was growing up, I never used to tell people my real age. When they would ask me, how old are you? Like I would be 16 in my teenagers and I'm like, no, I'm 18 or I'm, I'm, I'm 19. And I just couldn't wait for the responsibility of life. Now that I have the responsibility of life, like responsibility of things and adulting and making decisions, it doesn't end. It doesn't stop. Like for those of you probably watching this video, you understand what I'm talking about. Like when I mean it doesn't stop, you don't stop paying bills. You don't stop hustling. You don't stop doing stuff there's always decisions that have to be made about life changes like okay you're gonna get married who are you gonna get married to what career you want to do you want to study become a doctor or you don't want to become a doctor or you want to become a lawyer or you like there's always decisions that have to be made but when you're a child you actually don't have to make any decision like your parents decide for you what you're going to eat for breakfast and what you're going to eat for dinner and so on and so forth of the school you're going to go to and stuff like that but it's but because we so eager to grow up when we're younger it's just it becomes a thing like you just want to be old like i remember when i turned i think about 18 19 and when people would ask me how old i was i would tell them i was 27 years old because i just couldn't wait to become an adult and i just couldn't wait to have my own freedom to do the things that i want to do for myself but you don't realize that when you actually have that freedom and things you want to do for yourself it's a lot of responsibility it's a responsibility that takes a lot of discipline because now you have no one to blame but yourself you have nobody to run to and say mommy didn't do this or daddy didn't do this or my aunt or my sister or whatever didn't do this for me it's all on you like this is you like even when you get into a relationship or should i date this person or shouldn't i date this person if the relationship fails you it's like 
it's it's you you decided to go into a relationship or you decided to stay in a relationship that is not healthy for you it's not it's like life doesn't stop moving like adulting is something that is it's rough <laughs> yeah adulting is is rough you know i'm going to be 35 this year um and i'm already thinking where did the time go where did what have I done with my life? I still have so much that I want to do and achieve and and aspire to, you know? And already you start thinking at this point, like, um, where to now? Like, where am I gonna go? What am I gonna do next in my life? Like, as much as we plan and we, we have dreams and desires and stuff like that, like, when you are an adult, Okay, let me make an example like this. When you're an adult and you have bills to pay, you have your own place, like, and everything. In my case, I'm a married woman. I'm a mom. So my priorities, it's, it shifts. It doesn't become just about me, like, and what I want to do. It becomes, you know, you start thinking, it's a, you're a unit. You move as a unit, you know what I mean? So some of your desires and the, response, the things that you want to do can sometimes take a back seat because your priorities now is just to make sure that your kids and your family is like well, well like taken care of you know what i mean or and you're and you're not that you put your dreams on hold because i don't believe in that like i don't believe in ever putting your dreams on hold but it's just that sometimes it takes longer to attain them you know because of whatever reason like even to do this video guys i almost didn't do this video because I was thinking, okay, I have to pick up the kids from school. I drop them off at school, and you have a short window to do a lot of the things that you need to do before it's time to pick them up from school again and start like it's there's just always something happening. So I think the kind of advice I want to give anyone who's watching this video that is in their teen or in your twenties is do things that um like say if you're staying at home with your parents and you're watching this video and you're like I can't wait to get out, get out of my parents house so that I can start paying my own bills and do my own thing be a big girl and be what 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 the one advice I will give you is move out when it's absolutely necessary to move out of your parents house like trust and believe if they're not kicking you out if they're nice parents they're not like parents well african parents are 50 percent nice 50 percent crazy <laughs> but if but if they're not kicking you out of the house they're not putting pressure on you rather save that money that you're going to be using to pay rent somewhere or electricity buy pay for water and pay for this and this and that and that rather save that money gather as much as you can and maybe you can invest that into some business if you if it's not necessary for you to move out because there are people who start working and they don't have that back support like some people do have and we never like something about us as people we're never satisfied so it's either Oh no, I want to move out of my parents' house and you go live on your own and do this by yourself and blah blah blah. Then you have the ones already living by themselves and they're like, yo, I wish I have parents that I can actually live at home and I don't have to pay this five thousand rent for rent or pay this for this and pay this for this, then I can have more money, maybe to 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 be able to pursue um dreams and aspiration that needs capital. Because sometimes when you get into the workspace, um I started working at a very early age because I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to make money. So I started like, I'm like, listen, school will come later. As soon as I was done with matric, like I said, once again, wanting to adult as quickly as possible for me, I was like, I'm working because I want to have my own money, I want to have my own things, I want to have my own car, I want to have my own place, I want to have the, you know? But in life, you don't have regrets. I have no regrets at all because it made me become a very strong person and very independent as well. But you know, I'm just like, could have saved a lot of money, you know? <laughs> I mean, they weren't complaining, paying for the bills at that time, you know, with parents. But yeah, so you don't also want to be at home sitting and just lousing around and lazing yourself around and not doing anything with your life because your parents are also there to help you. Things that they don't tell you when you're adulting. Those are some of the things. Like it doesn't end, guys. So I just 
wanted to talk about it and get it off my chest so i don't know what i'm even gonna call this video some girl chat um and just life update in once again where i i i want to try and put out videos as much as i can with this channel but it ain't easy Hi, thanks for watching this video it's this was a nice chat and it's just very interesting for me to do um to get some things off my chest and i feel a whole lot better because talking about stuff is therapeutic but um share your adulting experience with me on the comment section below and um let's read let's communicate let's talk and share my videos like and um let's continue to grow together and i pray and wish each and every one of you that watch my video that 2021 will be better than 2020. just a story okay a story. thank you thanks guys